When the British have this chintet uh, operation uh, to reoccupy Rangoon, they are the many of the clan leaders. Uh, they are the leaders that, because they know the, the place, they know the country, they know the geography of the country, so they are asked to come back. And as the leaders, they are asked to came by plane, uh, and they have to jump parachuting into Burma. So they came first. They came with a with a with a pilot and three of them, they came and they looked for the place where they would be uh, dropped. So they came to one place and they, saw, they said this is not safe, very close to the enemy. So they went looking for another place and they said this is, uh, this is good. So they chose that one, they marked it and then they went back to India. And then the next uh, few days then they actually, no, they have to come back this time. They have to jump down from there. And what happened was that the pilot who took them the previous day, they, he was very sick. So they changed the pilot and the plane. So when this, they started the journey and they came on the, the, the when they come to the place where the, the pilot told them to jump down, it's, they know it is not the place where they, they, they mark it. Huh? Because this is the first place where it's, it's very close to the enemy position. But the pilot says, no, I'm, I'm given only this one, huh? this map, this place only. So my father-in-law and his friends, uh, when they, they know it is not worth arguing, then finally they jump down, even though they know it's very close to the enemy. And very uh, true to what they said, huh? within a few hours they were arrested by the Japanese. So the Japanese uh, soldiers arrested them and tortured them. Huh? But it's good that they don't kill them. This is because they know they are they are leaders, not officers. They are very important, so they need to take them to the Japanese headquarters, huh? to the nearest headquarters, and it will be about three, four hours walk. So they started uh, uh, the journey. And there are three three Japanese soldiers walking in front of them, and three Japanese after them. And when they started walking, they have to put their hands back and they tied it. And my father, in us, he says, you notice that the the way they tie their hands is very loosely. Eh? You can let loose it any time, but you just pretend not to notice anything or something like that. And then they just start walking. And when the three Japanese soldiers walk very far, and uh, the, the three soldiers behind them start talking with them, asking them, uh, says, are you Christian? And my father-in-law says, of course we are Christian. And they says, we are also Christians. And we are not Japanese. Huh? We are Korean. Hmm. We are forced to join the Japanese and, and then fight for them. Huh? So we, we will help you. Hmm. We will, and then, only then they know that the, the reason why they tie their hands very loosely. And then, they says, when they come to the junction, when the roads go in this direction and this, they nodded at the Japanese this direction and the Japanese go this way. And when they arrive there, the, the Korean soldiers ask them to run. So they escape from that. Huh? Wow. Because they know if they are taken to the Japanese, they will be killed. Huh? But they don't know what happened to the, the three uh, Koreans and the three Japanese. <laughs> Maybe they says when they run very far, they heard of the shooting, huh? but that is only what they heard. But they don't know what really happened at that time. When the clan started this guerrilla war, you know, they started it, this uh, what do you call the freedom uh, movement. Many of the the people they are only civilians. They want to join the army, you know, so that they don't know how to shoot, you know. They are not well trained soldiers. So my father-in-law, when he escaped and come back to them. Huh? He went to to report to the clan leaders. He moved his hand like that upwards and, uh, and then they shoot. And then he had to die, die down. Again and then he called them, No, I come into, I, I am a clan. I come to report to the to officers. And then it, they says, Okay, you come out. And so he stand up again, he raised his hand and they shoot again. <laughs> oh. uh, and finally he says, No, 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 this and that. And then he says, Okay, 
you come to me. No? <laughs> Instead of going to them, you dare not go. <laughs> you ask them to come, and finally they come. And they says, why? I, I told you already that I'm a crane and I come back to, to report to the leaders and then why you should? Uh, because it says, because you raised your hand and you said, we understand that this is, if you dare shoot, shoot or something. Oh. <laughs> they don't know that this is surrender. Huh? <laughs> yeah, very funny. But he said, because they are not well trained, huh? they don't, cannot aim at the target and shoot. Otherwise, he will die. <laughs> He died in this camp, no, in 96, mm. when after the fall of Manaplo. You see, it hurt him a lot when the, he heard of the fall of Manaplo. He cried, no? he cried and he prayed. 